Hello, you are welcome to solve for x in this nice algebra equation here. From what is given, we have 2 raised to the power 2x squared over 4 raised to the power x equals to 16. And here, let's change everything to have same base. That is, convert everything to base 2 here. So we have 2 raised to the power 2x squared. Here, this same thing as can be written as 2 raised to the power 2 which is raised to the power x now here 16 can be written as 2 raised to the power 4 so multiply itself 4 times then here from the law of indices this power can multiply and this becomes 2 raised to the power 2x squared then over here this will be 2 raised to the power 2x then equals to 2 raised to the power 4. Then applying the law of indices, when we have a raised to the power n over a raised to the power n, this same thing as a raised to the power n minus n. Then this will become 2 raised to the power 2x squared minus 2x now equals to 2 raised to the power 4. Then what we have here is having same base, that is when we have a raised to the power b equals to a raised to the power c. Here b will now be equal to c. So that means from here we have 2x squared minus 2x now equals to 4. Then next we take 4 here and this gives us 2x squared minus 2x minus 4 now equals to 0 from here this gives us a quadratic equation which also we can reduce and divide through by 2 and this will reduce to x squared minus x then minus 2 which is equals to 0 then here we can solve this by factorizing which is the product that is minus 2 and when we split it into factors such that we have the sum here which is minus 1 so this will give us 1 multiplied by minus 2 1 times minus 2 is minus 2 then 1 plus minus 2 will give us 1 minus 2 which is minus 1 that is the sum so from here this will now become x squared plus x then minus 2x minus 2 then equals to 0 so then when we put this together to 2 from here what is common here we have x then what left here we have x what left here will be 1 then what's common here we have minus 2 then to bracket what left here is x then we have plus 1 here then equals to 0 so here we have x plus 1 Common, so we have x plus 1, then into bracket x left here, then minus 2 left here equals to 0. Then from here, we have x plus 1 equals to 0, or we have x minus 2 equals to 0. Then from here, this gives us x equals to minus 1, and also from here this gives us x equals to 2 and these are the values of x to this given problem thank you for watching subscribe to my channel and share this video thank you see you next class and bye for now